So guys, this is my first um, reading for the healers and what they need to do for this coming next week to two. And guys, this is absolutely huge because my angels gave me these two extra placements here. This is what they, I, I felt called to do. And I used my um, pendulum and asked if this is the, the message that the angels want me to give you guys. And I got a resounding yes on this. So, you know, because I have to do some preparation work. So let me tell you what we've got here. So this is, it says, for healers, incoming energies. Guys, this is absolutely huge. I'm almost in tears because I feel like they're telling me that this is exactly where I've been needing to go. So for your overview, you have Thurias. Thurias is a doorway. If you have a healing gift, it is saying that you need to go through this doorway. Nothing from the past matters but your gifts, your spiritual plan, who you're supposed to help now. Okay? Of course, you got to have your boundaries up, but it's saying don't be scared to go through this doorway. Okay? Because your challenge is this is a new day, a new way of life. Be in the world, but look for the extraordinary. Look for the opportunities to help other people. People that are not awakened with your gifts. Make sure, and these are all channeled guys. A lot of this, I'm. it's just coming through. Okay? The angels are saying do not be scared to not accept this challenge. It's a new day. Your gifts are needed. We need you. There are people that need you to help them. And you're being asked, your challenge is to step up to the plate, accept this as a new day, and take on this challenge. Okay? And so that is your action. All right? We have manas, which means of is mankind in general. So they're saying mankind, those healers that we have, your action is to step forth to help those that need you. That's the action you need to take. And there may, there with this being man is, it means there will be people along the way to help guide you should you feel stuck. And that's where your sacrifice comes in. Because Hagalus works through reversal. So with Hagalus here, it's saying you need to not be scared that you're going to have to give something up. But the new life is always greater than the old. So your new situation is... Ewas and Ewas means everything is now starting to go forward in a much faster way. Okay, so that is the new situation is where you are stepping into your gifts as a healer. And this message is for me too, but it's, it's for all of us that are healers. These are the incoming energies where you cannot be scared to step into your gifts. What you can't do anything about is people. We got one Joe. This is why I'm saying this is big because these two spots are the ones the angels said for me to add on. You are going to have so much joy in the future when you acknowledge your gifts and step into it, okay? Because you are needed, and the angels are expecting and hoping that those of you that have gifts will fully step into your power, and you will help people, you will lead them, because you will find people that are awakened and people that are not awakened. Some of those that have gifts that, don't, that will not acknowledge their gifts, you will help light the way for them. Okay, so you will find very much so you will find joy in this, which is you can't do anything about it, but it means that you will find more happiness than what you think you will. What you don't see coming is othilum. Othilum is to do with um, um, inheritances. So you may inherit this. This may be something, a gift that you step into that you've inherited from your lineage, from your family. Remember, I was just talking in another video about, I have figured out that some angels are lineage. They come through your family line. They are with you. They look for the healers and to guide you into your, your gifts. Me and my sister both have gifts, but she has always run from hers. Me, I have always looked to jump into mine. So that is what they're pointing out. They're also saying that, you may find yourself separating paths from some people, family, friends, co-workers, other people who look at you like you're crazy. You are not. The angels say, do not give up, keep going. But there will be people along the way that will not see your path and see the joy that it brings you helping other people and shining your light in the darkness. So don't let those people slow you down. Do not. Yes, it will hurt if some people leave your life, but they were not meant to be there for the rest of your life. So step into your gifts, guys, for a first angel healing message. This is totally awesome. Um, I am like in tears just about because I asked the angels to totally guide me and they were whispering in my ear. I could feel them and my ears were ringing when I added these two other placements. And now I can see why. Do not be scared, folks. They are calling us. We are the warriors. We are the healers. We are the ones who will help heal the earth. 
everyone will have will do their little part like a little firefly. I was looking to another tarot reading day, but and that's what somebody else was talking about. Little fireflies. So little sparks of light from the angels will help guide you. Do not be scared. We are all needed. Lana Scott. Lighthouse, guys, if you like this, like, subscribe, and share. If you know anyone else that has a gift that they're being scared of, of doing it or are, are not realizing that they have a gift and you can help them, please help them. Um, what they do with it, of course, is up to them, but your gifts are being called upon. We need you. So these are, this is your message for the incoming week. Lana Scott, Lighthouse.